Well, my project is about the formation of nanoparticles made from a metal called palladium. And palladium is a precious metal that's used in your car where it removes toxic gases from your exhaust emission. But the problem is that palladium is very, very expensive and current systems are not very efficient. A nanoparticle is a very, very tiny crystal. To give you an idea of the length scale, one nanometer is a billionth of a meter, which is about 100,000 times thinner than the width of a human hair. Normally, when palladium nanoparticles form, they form as spheres or cubes. But what we've been able to do is form these complex, highly branched and tripod-like shapes. And these are really exciting because they've got a really high performance when it comes to removing those toxic gases. So these new palladium nanostructures are going to go inside your exhaust system. The toxic gases are going to land on the top of the palladium and here they'll undergo a chemical reaction which is going to turn them into something more environmentally friendly. The best thing I like about my project is investigating the things that occur on the nanoscale. You get some really cool and unexpected properties happening and it's looking into these new and exciting things that's really the drive for my work. And then after that, it's seeing your discovery go on to an external application. These nanostructures are really gonna be able to efficiently remove toxic gases and it's quite a good feeling knowing that it's gonna be beneficial to everyone. I guess the main thing that I learned from the McDermott Awards was how to effectively communicate my research. Um, the most pleasurable bit was presenting my research to a high school audience. When it all comes down to it, I'm actually a crystallographer, and crystallography is quite hard to make exciting for other scientists, let alone high school students. So that was a big learning curve, being able to bridge the gap between the fundamental research and a general audience. I'm really excited about staying and working towards building our knowledge base so we can create an environment where we're exporting our ideas and our high technology, as well as our primary resources. Like all science, this wasn't an individual effort. There's a lot of people involved in the work and that have supported me through this research. When you get stuck into scientific research, you really are on the cutting edge of human knowledge. You're looking, you're making, you're working with things that have never been seen or made before. And it's quite a special feeling to know that you're adding new knowledge to the world.